So iOS 16 is here, and if you have an iPhone, it's exactly the sort of update you wanna grab sooner rather than later, if for no other reason than for the security update. Seriously, that's important, don't wait on this. There's another big reason you're gonna to wanna to try this update as soon as you can, customized lock screens. This is the first time we have ever seen those on a smartphone. They absolutely have not been on Android for years. Apple invented them, and now you can have them in iOS 16. Them's jokes, but seriously, they're really good here and you're gonna to wanna to try them soon because you interact with your lock screen probably more than you do anything else during the day, more than your spouse, more than your kids. It's your lock screen, that is your new guy. First, I'm Phil Nickinson, this is Digital Trends. Go do the things, right? Subscribe to the channel, like the video, hit the notification bell so you see all the new videos coming up. All right, that's it, you ready? Let's go take a look at the new lock screens on iOS 16. So there are a few things going on here and they're kind of all going on at the same time. You can change how the lock screen looks and that has to do with fonts and colors and stuff. And you can change what's in the background of the lock screen itself too. Now that in and of itself is not new. We've been able to do that for a long time with pictures, right? But now we can add widgets, which adds even more functionality. And we're not done yet. You can adjust all this depending on your focus, which really just means you can have it do one thing during one part of the day and something else during another part of the day. So first things first, how do we get to any of this? So you can still do it sort of from the settings. Just search for wallpaper and there. And in fact, it gives you a little, uh, little hint down there to show you how to do it. And that's just fine, but there is an easier way. Just wake up your phone and then long press on the lock screen itself. And now it's time for some fun. So you can see I've got my main wallpaper there. Uh, that's my wife, she's beautiful. Love having her on there. Let's put more of that. Just go over there and hit the plus button and whoa, all right. There's a lot going on here, but it's also pretty simple. So at the top are all the different options. We've got photos, people, photo shuffle, all sorts of different versions of the same thing, really. We'll get more into those in a second. Now the emoji option is for people who have some serious issues in their life. And you'll immediately see what I mean here. You can put up to six emoji on your wallpaper, which is about seven emoji too many, I think. And then you can change how they look on there. Just keep swiping and you see it looks different. This is some really messed up stuff, but you do you. Now, if you're a more well-adjusted human being, there's a really cool weather wallpaper that in no way looks like animated weather wallpapers we've seen on Android phones in the past. No, Apple invented them here too. There's also an astronomy wallpaper, and this one's really cool. Definitely be sure to swipe through for all the options here. Ooh, look at the moon. Or if you're boring, just go for a color, okay? Nothing wrong with that, I'm not gonna judge. It's simple as all, just not as much fun. So back to the photos and people in photo shuffle options. This is what I've been using for a long time now in the betas, and I love it. Well, the photos and people options are kind of just for a single image at a time, and that's fine, but it's also kind of boring. And my wife is stunning. I want to see more of her on my phone, and okay, my kids too. So photo shuffle it is. You've got some options here too. I don't really care about cities, so I'm gonna uncheck that. Now you can have your iPhone pick which identified people that you want to add. This is my wife and kids, for example. You shouldn't see them on your phone. You should see your family. Or you can choose to add photos manually, which really is what I like to do. And you can pick and choose as many as you want. All right, so let's just pick a few here. Uh, you know, one, two, three, six, whatever. And that's what I'm gonna use. Now, one last thing here, you can choose how often you want the photos to rotate in and out. You can do it every time you tap the screen. You can do it every time the phone locks and unlocks or you can do hourly, which is where I keep it, or even daily, totally your call here. Now, that's a lot, but we're still not done yet. So you've got options for the font and the color of the words and the numbers you see here, and that's pretty cool. Play around with that for a little bit and figure out which one you like. And now see how my wife's head is actually obscuring the clock a little? That's an automatic thing that the phone has done and we can adjust it. So you can play around with how the image itself is cropped, zoom in and out just like you would if you were zooming in and out on a photo. So play around with that too on each individual photo. And yes, there are filters here, uh, so you can go black and white if you want, or filter or whatever, totally your call. We're still not done here, right? We got one more thing to go, widgets. 
So what's a widget, you ask? It's a little tool, right? If you've never used one before, uh, they're handy. There are some built into your phone, that's cool. Uh, different applications that you have installed on your phone are gonna have their own widgets too. So my list here is gonna look a little different than yours. But you can pick and choose whatever you wanna put on there. If you want a calendar, put a calendar. If you want your agenda, put your agenda. Uh, battery info, other stuff, right? Totally up to you. I actually choose not to put any on my lock screen. I just don't like it. I wanna see my wife, she's beautiful. Did I mention that? She's hot. So use a widget, don't use a widget, totally up to you. And that's it uh, from the start of iOS 16, the beginning of lock screen widgets and custom wallpapers and stuff like that. Really cool, this is only gonna get better over time, right? So expect it to change at some point and we're gonna have even more options. The important part to remember though, Apple invented it here. You've never seen this before on any other phone. Nudge, nudge, wink, wink, know what I mean? So that's it. Don't forget, subscribe to the channel. Like this video if you haven't already. Hit the notification bell so you see the next awesome video from Digital Trends. See you next time.